I was sitting in the bathtub, counting my toes when the radiator broke. Water all froze, I got stuck in the ice without my clothes, naked as the eyes of a clown. I would say John Prine's the second greatest American songwriter ever, possibly the greatest. That's the way that the world goes round. You up one day, the next you down. It's a I'd say he's probably one of your favorite songwriters, favorite songwriter, and probably influenced a large number of the songs that you know and love. I am an old woman named after my mother. Prime special because he he saw other people's points of views and somehow made them really deeply personal. If dreams were that night. You know, you going back to Angel from Montgomery, that song is is damn near perfect and he's writing from the perspective of a woman um and he did it in an era where people weren't paying attention to that. It seems to be very easy for him to access this like level this level of profundity that other people have to work really hard to get to. It seems like it just comes out of him like walking down the street. As the cafe was closing on a warm summer night. John came and played a performance in my living room and we invited a whole bunch of fans and fellow musicians. John started singing a song, you know, with this lyric, which something like, Ain't funny how an old broken bottle Ain't it funny how an old broken bottle looks just like a diamond ring? And I look over at Gordon Lightfoot. Gordon Lightfoot's got this tear coming down his face. Jim Cuddy in the back from Blue Rodeo's got a tear. Menno from Colorado's got a tear. Sam Cash has got a tear. Tara Lightfoot's got a tear. I have a tear. I start looking around and John Prine was crushing all of us. There's a hole in daddy's arm where all the money goes. When John Prine started singing Sam Stone in my home, I was just staring at him like this. And then I looked over and I saw all the other musicians like Gordon Lightfoot around who are in the living room. And I was like, oh, right, oh, right. There are other people here and we're shooting a show. But whenever John sang, all that went away. We just kind of stared at him and realized that it was something special. There's a hole in daddy's arm where the money goes. As soon as you seem like you might want to be a singer-songwriter, he's sort of the high watermark in a lot of ways. Prine's like a secret to a lot of people. If you're into John Prine, you're really into John Prine. <laughs> Thank you.